My grandma told me it's the little things. She held his hand the second that he slipped away and something in him shifted like a lifted weight. The little things. The imprint his back left in the mattress, even when she brought him back as an urn of ashes for the mantelpiece to hold beneath the picture of the whole family in gold leaf frame before they scattered. She let her husband go close to Logan's rock, waved her sweetheart away and waited for her own to stop. Beating the bottom of the urn till the last burnt bone cinder fell, she'll tell if you ask her the little things. She could spin them into epic webs. The waves break stones without diminishing her tenderness. But her address books filling up with dead friends, her chest filling with the things she never said to them, the little things. So now the old girl's blatant. You would be too if you would watch the whole world fading. Do with the truth what you will shall hold hers blazing. Cancer took her left breast, grandpa took her patience. But no bugger took her pride, clear mind. Though she turns a hundred in five years time. A century's a whole lot of repetition to live through. A lot of channels of television to flick through. And her limbs function less efficient than they did do. Still, it's the little things that stick with you. She told me it's the little things. The things you never said enough. Things I never said enough. You're a legend, love. Keep your sentiness, your sense of fun. It's all a goose chase when it's said and done. And you're right, it's all good as long as you bring your friends along. And they know you as a mate to be depended on. A maker of memories. And love, yes, you were right. It's 20 times better to be loved when you're alive than idolized by some adolescent sucking ego. I've come a long way since the essence up on East Slope Hill. <laughs> I get props. Still, the flexing isn't me, though. And I owe that to you. Have you read my sleeve notes? I wrote my gratitude to you there. It's simple. Thank you. I carry you still even now I'm single. Even now I don't roll over for a morning hug and find you. And we were forced to cut the binds we tied to. I couldn't find a truth short enough for haikus. So now I write a lifetime of Laura's into my tunes. It's all for you. It's really all for you. It's all for you, love. It's really all for you. It's all for you. It's really all for you. It's all for you, Laura. True. Things I never said enough. <laughs> I'm going to fucking ball like a baby in this one. <laughs> My brother's here in the room. So. <laughs> Don't show me him, that'll make it twice as... <laughs> Things I never said enough. You're a legend, bruv. Keep your dander up, you anchor me. There's no granite tough as love for family. And even if the cancer comes for one of us, the other one will carry on the legacy. We're our daddy's sons, and that's a heavy flag to wave. Look, ease, you're doing it. However many Saturdays you took ease and chewed your lip, your love's far bigger than the drugs are. Sit and prop up the bar with me. We've been living too quickly. It's part of the mission, isn't it? I guess it's all right. But I wish we spent more time. And brother, listen, I'm chuffed for you and Miriam. You'll make a lush truth for your kids to live in. This dates this one because they're eight years old now. <laughs> And sorry I never bought a present or sent a card, I meant to. <laughs> the life I lead is seven nights a week, clipping head screw. But whatever, there's forever shit to get through. Just know how much it is that I respect you. And listen, it's all for you. It's really all for you. It's all for you, bruv. It's really all for you. It's all for you. It's really all for you. It's all for you, Toby. True. <laughs> <laughs>